Hey what's up guys this is Sandeep Sky and in this video I'm going to show you how to dual boot between Ubuntu 22.04 for LTS and Windows 10 or 11 so without wasting any more time let's get started open your web browser and search for Ubuntu click on the first link and click on Ubuntu desktop Now click on download. Since I have already downloaded it, I'm not going to download it again. Now open another tab and search for Rufus. Click on the first link and download the latest version of Rufus. We need Rufus to make bootable USB of Ubuntu. After downloading Rufus, close your web browser and insert your pen drive which is at least 8 GB and please make a backup of your pen drive because it will be lost. Now open Rufus and select the ISO file which we just downloaded earlier. Now leave the other settings as default and click on start. This process is going to take some time so I'm just going to skip this part. Ok so finally it is done. Now close Rufus and right click on the start menu and open disk management. Now select the disk with largest volume and then right click on it and select shrink volume. Now give it a space of at least 30 GB. Now after creating free space we need to restart our PC and boot into the bootable USB pendrive of Ubuntu. Now when your laptop is showing your brand logo, press either escape key or F12 key to open boot menu and select the USB option from that menu. We have put it into the live USB of Ubuntu. Now you can also select try Ubuntu if you want to try out this distro before installing to check if everything works. And if you have already tested everything then you can choose the install Ubuntu option and start installing. Also it is recommended to connect to network while installing.
Here check the option for install third party software. Choose the third option which is something else. Now find and select the free space which we just created from windows. As you can see this is the free space which I just created from windows which is 30 GB. Now select the free space and click on the plus icon. Now leave everything as default and select the mount point as root which is forward slash. Now select the device for bootloader installation. Now choose the block partition which says Windows Boot Manager. Double check everything and click on install now. Select your time zone. Now create your username and your password. Now the Ubuntu installation has finally started. This process is going to take some time so I'm just going to skip this part as well. Finally the Ubuntu installation is completed. Now click on restart now. Now it will ask you to remove your USB pen drive and press enter. Just do it what it says. Now every time you start your PC, you will see an option to choose between operating systems. Choose the first option if you want to boot into Ubuntu and choose the third option if you want to boot into Windows. For now I'm going to boot into Ubuntu. We have finally installed Ubuntu, now I'm going to show you some new changes in Ubuntu 22.04 LTS. Now if you go into settings and go into appearance, you will see that you have now option to switch your accent color. By default it is orange and you can select the accent color from these colors. Also if you go into about, you can see that it is using the latest GNOME version which is GNOME 42 at this moment and it is also using Wayland by default. Now if you open terminal and type uname-a, you will see that it is using the Linux kernel 5.15 which is also an LTS kernel.
Now let's try to boot into Windows to check if our dual boot is working properly. As you can see we are able to boot into windows as well. So that's it for the video guys. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this video helpful and if you did please leave a like and also subscribe to my channel. Thank you.